Recording? Good. Okay, I'm with the uh, director of Jaguar Design, Ian Callum. Ian, in the XJ here, you've done it again, sir. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. It's thoroughly modern, but um, I guess it, it had to move the game on, I, I suppose. But it's easy for me to say that. How do you then convince the legion of XJ customers that are going to be thinking, oh, it's a bit too radical for me? Jaguar owners will always come with us. What we've got to do is keep the Jaguar owners with us. We'll do that because it's a Jaguar, they love it, because it's all the values that Jaguar should have. But not only that, we're going to bring new owners into this car, with new, new customers into it. And that essentially what is what we have to do. We have to increase the customer base, and this car will do it for right. us. Right. I suppose, I suppose the most challenging area of this car is going to be the back end of it. Can you just talk me around the thinking behind this C pillar, which has been blacked out, and these longitudinal yeah. lights? Well, it's not blacked out, it's actually very glossy. And it's, it's, it's a graphic continuation of the rear glass. It's very important to do that because you need some width to the back of the car. If we didn't do that, it would look too narrow in the back, and that's something I really wanted to do. Now, the other thing was, this graphic here is very important. If we colour this pillar in as a normal body colour, mm -hmm. this starts to lose effect. This is the important part, not that. It's a continuation of glass visually, and when you see the car graphically in the road, it really does work. Mm. That's a very Jaguar window graphic, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beautiful Jaguar. Yeah. But what we've done, we've stretched it as much as we can. You know, normally you might expect something a bit more conservative, a bit more upright, but hey, it's a Jaguar. So we've stretched this line as far as we can to get that sense of length, and it really is about pulling that length back in the car. Yeah. A couple more questions. Um, XJR, you got something in the pipeline for us? Well, you know, you can get the Super Sport version of this. It's uh, 510 horsepower. It doesn't come in at the very first stage of it, maybe a few months later. It's going to be a very quick car, the same engine as XFR. There are no direct plans yet for an R version, but who knows? We'll yeah. see. Okay, and how about the, the plug in, the electric uh, hybrid that you've been working on? Is, is that still in the pipeline? We're doing an experimental one, yeah. We're going to have one ready in the next few months. It's going to be a series hybrid, not a parallel hybrid, so it'll be a permanently electric driven car, uh, driving off a very small engine to charge the batteries up. A very economical car, but it's very much an experimental stage at the moment. Mm. But what it says is, you know, we're up there with the best of them. We're trying everything we can to get to the new age of technology and electric cars. Okay. And the final question, are you going to bring back one of these babies? Do you know DC? what? I would love to. It's not the cycle plan. Yeah. We've actually drawn one already. So, Seriously? Hey, who knows? Hey, that's Let's awesome. See. Well, cheers to your time, your fella. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.